close your eyes. Watch the breath coming in. Watch the breath going out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Try to gather your mind around the sensation of breathing. As for any other thoughts or sounds or whatever, just let them go. Let them go right through you. Think of the mind as being like a screen on a window. The breeze flows through the screen. The screen isn't moved. The screen doesn't catch the breeze. It stays right where it is. In the same way you want your mind to be solidly established with the breath, as for anything else, just let it go right through, go right through. You're trying to put your mind in good shape. If the mind is running around all the time, if you, did, if you were to draw a map of its movements, it would be a big tangle. You're trying to make a map in which it's just one spot centered here on the mind, and then radiating out from that spot is your awareness. That's the mind in good shape. Because the mind, when it's settled like that, then it can see things a lot more clearly for what they are, and make the right decisions for what should and shouldn't be done. Now you can learn how to trust it a lot more. Because this is our main problem in life, is the mind is in bad shape and things come at it and it goes out looking for trouble sometimes. It's not the things that are coming in that make us suffer, it's the way their mind goes looking for trouble. It goes running out looking for happiness and things that can't really provide happiness. That's the mind in bad shape because it's running around all the time. Try to get the mind still and you can see things clearly. You can see the tendency to run out, but you don't have to run with it. That's when you lift yourself above the normal state of the mind and can be a lot more in control. So that when things come in, you don't have to suffer from them and you look at the tendency to go out. If the tendency is based on a wise decision, then it's fine. We do have to deal with the world. It's not that we're running away. But you want to make sure that when you're going out and looking for things in the world, that you're going out with the right motivation. So the mind has to have this solid space inside where it can see the motivation clearly, see things in action as they happen. And then it can make better and better choices. So try to develop this state of mind that is centered but broad. If you draw a map of it, it is said to be like a one point with awareness radiating out from it. That's the mind in good shape. <laughs>